Hey guys, I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. That's all I've ever wanted for my daughter. <laughs> Charm a man into the sea? Yes. On his own accord. Consensually? Is I that said what you're on meaning? his own accord. So does that mean consensually? Yeah. Like you on his own. Cons- her to consensually coax a man into the sea. I w- well, he d- can't consent to the coaxing, but I want him to walk into the sea on his own. She doesn't push him. So she's not a siren. No, she is a siren. But sirens coax, don't With they? With their voice. We got to do an episode on sirens. I think we do. <laughs> yeah. Mark I it down. Do. Put it in your calendars. Yeah. What's, What's up, up, everyone? Hello. Hello. All right. I have so many things to tell you. Okay. We're just hopping right in. Might First as of well. all, hold on. Mosby, I cannot have you look in your butt. It is allergy season. <laughs> I did my makeup earlier. Uh-huh. I took a bath. I was just like relaxing, slowly getting ready. Then I went on a walk and all of a sudden it was like I got punched in the face uh-huh. with allergens. So that's why I'm wearing glasses. And Corey was like, are we so, getting sick or do we have allergies? And I was like, we definitely have allergies, allergies because my eyes are so red and like mm-hmm. swollen. And I woke up with them like crusted <laughs> shut. I'm like, awesome. Yeah. I can't uh, wear my contacts I for sure. I just put in some eye drops. Yeah, um, me too. And I was like, I have to take all my makeup off because I'm going to be picking at my face. And the second that the mascara gets into my eyes, then they'll have an even worse reaction. (laughs) And I just cannot. We got to record too. No, we can't do it. So anyway. Okay. So I wanted to talk to you about the message. (laughs) Okay. So we got a message in our inbox and it starts out like this. You're going to have to be quicker if you don't want us to read it on the podcast and you end up deleting it. Yep. Lost two viewers of your pro-choice bullshit. (laughs) I already knew what it said and it still caught me off guard. (laughs) Does Miss Nurse, I don't know who you mean, and none of us are nurses, (laughs) tell her abortion patients? That's not how nurses work. (laughs) At least if you're talking about my fiance, who is an orthopedic nurse, (laughs) that each abortions can cost a myriad of lifetime problems, dash OBGYN. You should be ashamed of yourself. I hear you. And what I would like to say is formally, I am doubling down (laughs) on being so fucking pro-choice. So (laughs) if you're not, and if that bothers you, here's an invitation. To to, learn? Or leave. (laughs) Learn or leave. You're not going to bully me into not standing up for women and their right to choose. I don't give a shit if you don't want to listen to me anymore because I am advocating for women and their right to their own bodies and bodily autonomy. Mm -hmm. That will never, you you will never make me be silent because you decide that you don't want to listen to me talk about pee pee and poo poo anymore. (laughs) Sorry. I told Sierra, if this person keeps forcing people to have babies into families that don't want to have babies while we're having a formula shortage by the way which i was scrambling to multiple places today to try to find formula for my baby you know what it's fine it's fine you know what we'll just make them our army so go ahead keep pumping them out (laughs) just we're gonna make them turn on you (laughs) for real well like it's like the person who was like sorry you said that trans kids matter and their (laughs) lives are important can't support that (laughs) I okay, okay. well then I don't fucking care. Like <laughs> yeah. then don't listen. I don't care if you think that us saying I'm going that, to actually be louder now. Yeah, if you think that us saying that we think that people have should have basic human rights mm-hmm. and that's bothersome to you, then welcome to the bothersome podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the Ooh, fuck do bothersome. you want, The fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Um, also, you know what else can cause a myriad of lifetime issues? Yeah. Having a child that you don't want to have. <laughs> no shit. No shit. Do you know what kind of issues it can cause? Like so many. Like, First so of all, fucking physically, many. Yeah. mentally, emotionally, depending on how stable financially you are with your partner, if uh-huh. you actually like them or know them. Yeah. Um, yeah. That also comes with a host of problems. Also telling me I should be ashamed of myself as if I'm not already for a host of other <laughs> reasons. <laughs> bold assumption yeah like, i am ashamed of myself but not for that <laughs> yeah if anything that is the only th- that is my floaty it's for the when the, yes <laughs> keeping me from drowning in the shame pool literally yeah seriously it is supporting the lgbtq plus community and supporting <laughs> bodily autonomy for yeah. people. And then I'm drowning because my neighbor was calling his dog and I waved to him because I thought he was waving <laughs> at me. And then he doubled Aww. down on calling his dog. And I was like, 
I'm, I'm my fucking bat. Okay? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not waving at you. I'm waving at no. your dog. <laughs> I, I love your dog too. I wanted him to come here. <laughs> yeah, it's always a real Air Bud situation. <laughs> He's mine now. Yeah. He gets to choose his own. <laughs> You should have your dog on a leash, is all I'm saying. Oh, I was advocating for a dog's right to choose. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Yes. I I support that. Don't put my dog on a leash. No. (laughs) Don't tread on my dog. (laughs) Don't tread on his leash. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, because we're about to get into scary stories, I have to tell you a little spooky thing that just happened. Oh my God, something spooky happened to me as well. By the way, we did not intend to do this, but we are recording on Friday the 13th. Yep. And we're recording two uh this we're gonna have this a little hybrid situation ghost stories creepy kid thing and then we're also going to put one on our exclusive patreon yep. um patreon.com slash ladies and tangents <laughs> if you want more but we like thought of this a while ago support planned parenthood because yeah. <laughs> we will be donating <laughs> we will be donating um but we thought about this a while ago, and then as we were mapping out the rest of our month with episodes, we're like, um, are we recording our ghost episode on Friday the <laughs> fucking 13th? Because that was not on purpose. But yeah, even more not on purpose, and just like Glitch in the Matrix, this is so fucking scary. I have told the story of Noah and Debbie, right? I'm sure on the podcast. Okay, yes. He's not mentioned it since he's been a child, right? Okay, so today we're watch. He loves to watch brain games. I don't uh-huh. know if you've seen it, but it's on Netflix. Watch brain games; it's so fun. Okay. He loves things that like trick your mind and trying to like fool his brain and all these okay. things. Well, there's an episode that they did, and they're talking about um, like Ouija boards and people pushing it and whatever. So okay. they're showing a Ouija board. And yeah. first of all, he comes up to me and he goes, "Mom, I think I'd like to buy a Luigi board." <laughs> I was like, hold on, <laughs> Ouija board, and no. And he was like, why? And so that's I had a, to. That's a mind game. <laughs> yeah, I had to. <laughs> I had to explain to him what a Ouija board is and why we yeah. don't like mess with. Well, those. he didn't ask for a Ouija board. No, he asked for a Luigi board. <laughs> <laughs> but then he pointed at the TV, and I was it's like, just oh. Toad's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that actually is so fun! Ding 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 ding! <laughs> Stars start shooting out of it. Patent it. Yeah, we're making don't a Luigi board. Fucking steal that. <laughs> anyway, we're sorry. also gonna use our Patreon money to start that. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say some shit like Luigi board and expect my brain not to, not to go. just take a vacation, take it and run. Yeah. Well, get off of that island because you're about to be scared. Because mm-hmm. then he comes up to me and he's like, "So you could talk to ghosts through that?" And I was like, "Yeah, but I wouldn't because you know you can open it." And he was like, "Oh, I just wanted to see if Debbie was still around." <gasps> I swear to fucking God. And I went, "What did you say?" And he goes, "You know, Debbie. I just wanted to see if she was still around." And I was like, "Debbie, who?" And he's like, "You know, from when I was a little kid." And I was <gasps> like, "Have you been listening to my podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> well, like, how does he? Did you ask him? No, I was so scared. I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, you didn't? Pry? No, I was scared. I'm going to when I go home, of course, because now I've say, had time tomorrow, to like think of it. Tomorrow, Shane is going to get um the play set that we bought. Yeah. Oh, fun. So, if you want to bring Noah over, and we'll be like, hey, you can help the guys build it, and also then play on it. <laughs> But then I, I'll fucking quiz him on Debbie. <laughs> like, we need to know some shit. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that was scary, but also so, so interesting. Um, My creepy story that mm-hmm. just happened. Um, I don't know if you guys are, are aware of this, but in the town that we're from, there was a 2020. <gasps> yeah. Um, a documentary? What's I, Yeah. What's yeah. Called? Like a, it, yeah. Story? It was like a story on 2020. Um, about uh, a murder that had happened, um, trigger warning for a uh, child loss, child yeah. death, murder yeah. stuff. <laughs> all of those it's things. It's all bad. Um, I'm not going to get into it, obviously, but the night that that came out, that mm-hmm. it aired, that it went up on Hulu, mm-hmm. okay? <gasps> yeah. We were recording. Yep. And I went upstairs and came back down here and like had this really kind of like shocked look on my face Mm -hmm. and I said is Mosby down here and Shane's like yeah he's right here and I'm like great 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 cool 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 and you were like what and I said I just saw I just saw a little kid yep I saw a little kid peek down the stairs and run I thought it was Ollie and then when I went upstairs I realized Ollie was in bed I thought it was Mosby but Mosby's down with you which means I think I just saw a ghost yeah (laughs) which I we were like ooh, creepy anyways but like 
I didn't know until the next day, my sister had messaged us and she was like, hey, do you remember that girl who was murdered when we were kids Uh on Sierra's birthday? On my birthday, where like very close to where I used to live, which is like, you can see it from Jerry's house yeah, where she lives now. Oh, should I not say that? I was going to say, my house is in the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you can you can see my house in the show. You guys don't know which one it is, but my house is on the, sh- it's in very, the show. It's very close. Yeah. So, it, it like, terrifying. I can see her, uh, the apartment that she lived in from my house. Yeah, and I remember because the... the um, which ep- I don't... I have no recollection of this at all. So, I had no idea. There was I a very no idea. big storm that night and i remember because it was my seventh birthday and um there was a tornado that touched down very close to where like in the city next to us Uh and so sirens were going off and my mom was like trying to leave to go get my fucking birthday cake (laughs) and everybody was like hey don't like get in the basement and i'm crying i'm like my mom's gonna like get in a tornado or whatever i had watched a lot of twister and i'm wondering if i was at your birthday party I think you definitely were. Because I, I have no memory of this. I think you definitely shocking. were. But like, I know that I probably was. Yeah. Um, because I think that's also the one where... Are we sitting out at the picnic table? Is there a picture of us? Where I had the helmet on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating birthday cake. So I know that I was there because there is physical evidence. Yes. But like, I don't remember any I'm of I'm pretty this. positive that's the one that it was. But yeah. So um, it just so happened that the night that that happened... Not the night that happened, but the night that that story came out, close to where you live, you ended up seeing her, I think. Yeah. So that's not even the scariest part. (gasps) Oh, God. Okay. So Ollie has been doing some really weird things lately. Mm -hmm. Well, three is like the age that's when Noah saw Debbie. So I feel like that age is like real tapped into some shit. Also, I don't know if it's that they're tapped in because Sawyer today had been, she was giggling over, looking up over my shoulder at the plane wall behind me, like laughing at Forrest it. Forrest has and been I was waving like, at things behind me. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, but I think three is like when they can yep. express it. But anyways, go on. So um, the other day I was going to ask Shane if he uh, wanted to take the kids to go get ice cream and watch the airplanes. Mm-hmm. And... There's a little airport near us. It's so fun so, to watch the little planes take off. I said to him, because I know that if I say the word going, like, how do you feel about going? Mm-hmm. Ollie's immediately going to pick up on it and be like, where are we going? Where are mm-hmm. we going? So I said, how do you feel about G-O-I-N-G? And Ollie goes, G-O-I-N-G, G-O-I-N-G, G-O-I-N-G. And I'm like, the fact that you memorize those letters so quickly so quickly and then are repeating them over and over again like without even holding eye contact with us he was just like continuing to eat his food (gasps) repeating it i was like okay (laughs) and then uh today i'm I'm saving the last part the best part for last but today we come in shane is putting a tv up and he i said how how big is the TV? Like, I know how I know what the inches are, like what size TV we got, but like, what does that mean? How high and how wide is yeah. it? And Shane goes, Well, height wise, it's and Ollie goes 32 inches. <gasps> and Shane goes, It's 32 inches. What I have no, he and I looked at each other and I was like, Are you serious? And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> What? And he goes, let me measure it, dad. And he gets his tape measure out and he's like going around and just like measuring shit. But we're just like staring at each other like, how the fuck did he know that? <laughs> and then here's the scariest part. Did he hear anybody say that at any time? No, that we was had the just first got, time. <gasps> we just got back from a walk with my mom. Shane hadn't even gotten it out of the box. Oh my God. So after we got back from the airplanes, okay, this is two different days, but I really think they're all connected. <laughs> um, after we got it back from the airplanes, they we took them to get a bath, mm-hmm. and then they were going to bed. And while they're in the bath, Ollie kept saying, what's her name? And I said, who? <gasps> the girl. The girl who was here. What's her name? And I was like, I don't know. And he goes, she was here. And I'm like, I have no, I don't know, bud. I don't know. And then he just went back to playing in the bath. Oh, my God. Because you don't have like he would say like person, like not girl if it was. And there's no little girls that come over to your house. And he knows all of us by name. Yeah. (gasps) 
Whoa. I know. And all of that happened after that. I saw her and that that story came out and Let we realized, just. I know. Isn't that strange? <laughs> so now I think that he's just like, has superhuman intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> He's like how. Jimmy Neutron. He basically got a blast. <laughs> got a blast. Yeah. Carl. See, you saw him driving his little Jeep around the backyard. Oh my God, he's like a little like human person. <laughs> like he, he is. He's not like a, you would think a toddler would be driving that Jeep. He like, just three point turns. <laughs> he like throws it in reverse <laughs> if he gets stuck. It's incredible. What, what are you saying about me? My when you, yeah, when you drove me around when I was my in your Jeep. Barbie car. Yeah, dude, you freaking <laughs> I was scared for my life. <laughs> there were seatbelts in that. And there's no seatbelts in the Jeep. It's a Jurassic Park Jeep. <laughs> I really <laughs> wanted that as a kid, not the Barbie one. Like thanks mom and dad. I I love the fact that I had a car. But <laughs> yeah, you got a car before I did. <laughs> yeah. Like three times. <laughs> I only got one. Um, I did then no, get I a mean, moped. You <gasps> That's right. You got a moped. Mm-hmm. No, but I think you got your second car after the first convertible car before I even started car driving. My was an absolute lemon. Okay? I loved that car. I had I had a piece of wood holding up the seat. Yeah, that was cool. You act like we didn't have the best time in that. Oh, no, no, no. I know we had the best time we in it. We thought we were the shit. You, we, we were, were just the shit. Put the, right about <laughs> that. <laughs> just put the freaking top down. And-, and I would drive slowly past the park blaring an 80s mixtape yeah. that I had made. God, that was good. Video killed the radio star. <laughs> Who's that? Just me being an absolute dweeb in my rusty piece of shit convertible. Well, it was better than your moped. <laughs> that is, yeah. I couldn't take passengers on that. <laughs> I know. And I wanted to ride it. But you had to have a license. You did. Like, it was legit. Yeah. You had a I moped license. I <laughs> couldn't drive at night. <laughs> And I wasn't allowed to drive on the street. I had to drive like, <laughs> but I couldn't drive on the sidewalk either. I had They're to drive so fucking bumpy. a foot away from the sidewalk and I had to wear a helmet and I was so fucking embarrassed. That is embarrassing. Wearing a helmet is one of those on things that's embarrassing mo- for no reason. Yeah, especially on a moped. Yep. <laughs> if you're on a motorcycle, it's like, of course, this could kill you. But yeah. the moped goes up to like, what, 30? <laughs> I think it... I- I think that it maybe said that it went to 30, but that was no when it was way. going downhill. Yep. I had to push it uphill. <laughs> if there was a really tall hill, I had to get up and walk. It had pedals on it just in case. Oh, man. I love it. was a hybrid. <laughs> I loved your moped days. That was fun. I'd show up and be like, <laughs> it was so good. People door checked me all the time. Yeah, well, you made it easy. Because you were on a fucking moped. <laughs> I told Sierra after the two girls, one ghost episode, um, I was in therapy. I do therapy down here at my computer and in the playroom that is behind everything. My kids have a, um, a puzzle that if you put the animals over it, are you fighting with people right now? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm trying to find the thing that I'm going to start this off with. We got more people yelling at us. Oh, my God. Anyway. And they're wrong. Which is <laughs> even funnier. They're like, did you know? And you're I'm like, mad. that's not true. So <laughs> if you're going to come at me with bullshit, at least be right. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Anyway, all I wanted to say is that while I'm talking to Barbara, all of a sudden in the other room, I hear, re, 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 re. <laughs> no. And it was the so pig scary. puzzle piece um, which only goes off if you either cover it with your hand or put the piece on it. We hadn't been down there playing in I don't know how long. <gasps> and um, so I went back there and I shut it off. And then a couple days later, it did it again. No, God. Mm-hmm. Children's toys actively playing alone make literally is the reason why I didn't buy my kids toys <laughs> that like play sounds. Uh, if it did it like all the time, like, okay, maybe it's just got a glitch. But if it just does it randomly, mm-hmm. that's that's uncalled for. I had uh, my Toss Furbies it. always did that. Yum. Yes. <laughs> While I was asleep. And I was like, fuck no. Get rid of that fucking Furby. <laughs> I had like one of those fiber optic lamps and it would just shine behind my Furby and make it even more ominous looking. <laughs> no. <laughs> so scary. Okay, anyway. so because we're going to get into spooky stories, I wanted to give you all... Oh. We're gonna do a sandwich of events. So if you're watching, Sierra wasn't ignoring me while I was telling that story. She was trying to find. I this. was trying to find <laughs> this that I knew I had, but I couldn't find it. But I found it. So it's a bot story, mm-hmm. um, because I wanted to give you 
We're you all loved me. your freaking bot stories so damn much that I'm like, yeah. I'm going to sandwich these spooky stories with some bot stories so we're not so scared. Yep. So this is a bot. I forced a bot to watch over a thousand hours of Batman movies and then ask it to write a Batman movie of its own. Here is the first page. Are okay. you ready? Uh-huh. Uh, interior? Is that what we decided? I was <laughs> <Yes>. an international. <laughs> international <laughs> Batman. <laughs> interior traditional bat cave batman stands next to his batmobile and uses his bat computer he's sometimes bruce wayne sometimes batman all times orphan (laughs) batman this is now a safe city i have punched a penguin into prison (laughs) alfred batman's loyal battler (laughs) carries a tray of gotham (laughs) Tray of Gotham. <laughs> Alfred. Alfred. <laughs> I don't think that's his name. Is it his name? I think that's his name. Okay. Alfred Simon Thea Theorone. <laughs> yes. Alfred. Eat at dinner, Mattress Wayne. <laughs> An explosion explodes. The Joker and Two Face enter the cave. Joker is a clown, but insane. Two Face is a man, but attorney. Batman. No, it is Two Face and One Face. <laughs> they hate me for being a bat. <laughs> Batman throws Alfred at Two-Face. Two-Face flips Alfred like a coin. Oh, my God. Alfred lands heads up, which means Two-Face goes home. (laughs) Batman. It is just you and I, the Joker. Batman versus... I'm sorry. Bat versus clown. Moral enemies. Moral or mortal? (laughs) Moral. (laughs) The Joker. I am such a freak. Society is bad. You drink water. I drink anarchy. (laughs) Batman. I drink... Bats, just like a bat would. (laughs) Batman looked around for his parents, but they are still dead. (laughs) Oh, Oh, God. This makes him have anger. He fires a bat rocket. The Joker deflects it with his sick sense of humor. A clownly power. The Joker, I have never followed a rule. That is my rule. Do you follow? I don't. (laughs) Batman. Alfred, give birth to Robin. (laughs) He lays an egg. (laughs) Alfred begins the process since it is his job. (laughs) The Joker now has a present in his hand. He juggles it over to Batman. The Joker, happy bat day, birth man. (laughs) Lost it. Batman opens the present since he's a good guy. It contains a coupon for new parents, but it is expired. This is a Joker joke. (laughs) Oh my God. You know what it's upsetting to me? Tell me. Is that there are two different villains. Uh Uh-huh. The Joker and the Riddler. Yeah, what the fuck? But, and it's the same superhero yeah. world, right? I think. I think they're both enemies of the bat. I think. The mattress bat? <laughs> mattress man? <laughs> People who wa- l- do comic book shit. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, I have no fucking clue. Me neither. I never got I'm into more that. I'm a Marvel girl. I'm actually not. But I'm, I'm going to choose a universe. I choose Marvel. Really? I choose DC Comics. Is that what it's called? Yeah, you like Batman? I like Batman. And Superman? Mm-hmm. No, Superman, no. Well, Batman. He's in DC. I like Batman. He's I the like only one Batman. I like. <laughs> I, like, I, like I, like I like the villains in Batman. I like whiskey drink. I like <laughs> whiskey drink. <laughs> and I'm kind of into Poison Ivy. I just kissed the microphone when I said that. <laughs> I'm kind of into Poison Ivy. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> She's, you know. <laughs> um, her and uh, I just want to be your friend. Catwoman. Okay, yeah, they really sexed up. That I think that's why I like Look Marvel. Me, like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I like Marvel um heroines. They're less sexed up. Yeah, they're more Aww. they feel like they got brains. Still they're still beautiful. Well the Scarlett Johansson. The other and ones are bad asses. Bad asses. Catwoman is like crazy well, so bitch. Are they. Yeah. Freaking Scarlet Witch. Well, I oh my know. god, look at us. Act like we <laughs> fucking know. I just watched WandaVision. I was going to say, I've seen a movie like one time in the 90s. I've seen movie. I've seen <laughs> one time I watch movie. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to tell this. We're going to get into this. I don't spookies. know why I drink. Okay, you mentioned wanting us to do the Sprite Challenge one time. <gasps> we I cannot. have to do it. This is like just bubbles and I <laughs> can't stop burping. Yeah. If you want us to do the Sprite Challenge. I was going to say, we should do that on our live on Tuesday or whatever. What if we throw up? What if we survive? Okay. What if we win? Let's get into this. Okay. 
this first story starts, this is long, but worth it, I promise. It'll creep you out. So when I was a kid, I lived in a two-bedroom, second-story apartment with my mom. I'd see these tall shadow people who'd float, not walk, around my room. No, no, no. They were about as tall as my ceiling and did not touch the floor. Think Dementors, minus the scabby hands or soul-sucking. <laughs> they had no real distinguishable features other than being tall, cloaked or hooded, and floating around. They never hurt me or did anything. They were just there, floating around in my room, usually one or two. I told my mom about them and she didn't believe me. I was five at this point. After my mom had my first brother, I was nearly seven. There were more of them. My brother and I shared a room. They still did nothing. We moved to an old farmhouse out in the country when I was 11 or so, and he was three or four, and we shared a room yet again. Now, the, this says my mom had another brother, but I think it's my mom had another baby. And it was a <laughs> it was brother. A bro but my mom had another baby. By my, then, I just need you to know what my mind is doing right now. So you know, in Harry Potter, uh -huh. how they have something scary and they like say some shit, Patronus, to make, to make it funny. Expecto. Oh, what to make oh, it funny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Is it? Is it that? That's it. <laughs> so that's what my head is doing, and for some fucking reason, mm -hmm. they're hungry, hungry hippoing. Oh. <laughs> in the room i don't know why <laughs> they're not hippos no but that's why they're doing nothing and just like floating about they're trying to collect all of the things because they're Marbles. hungry hungry dementors <laughs> okay i get you okay sorry no it's okay uh, what my if brain's they're like, just like fun what if they're just like bouncing off of things like bumper cars bing 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 they're just oh. ping pongs okay I like that one. I like my Dementors to be ping pong. <laughs> I like my Dementors to be hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. What do you like yours to be? <laughs> okay. So new baby. He slept in their room. Our house was raised off the ground out in the middle of nowhere on a country road with only an empty greenhouse next to our house and surrounded by woods. For context, my stepdad was about 6'1 or so, and when he'd stand outside our window in the backyard that faced the woods, we'd only see the top of his forehead at the bottom of our bedroom windowsill. So they were, you know. This little yard also had a small street light in the middle, which eerily lit up our room at night. The window was by my brother's bed, and our beds were on opposite diagonal ends of the room from each other. The window was between his bed and the door to my parents' room, which they kept locked from their side. They're like, don't fucking come in here. <laughs> As for my bed... It was next to the bathroom door and faced straight towards the window by his bed with a view of the yard and the little light. I need you to know that I my brain was trying to f map out the room because uh -huh. it is so descriptive. Yeah. But I could not force it to design it because, because there, there was, was dementors everywhere. No, because the other part of my brain was going, it doesn't matter. The good part's coming. Yes. It doesn't matter. The good part's coming. <laughs> so now I'm like, I don't know what the fucking room looks like. <laughs> okay. There's my a locked door fucking and a window it. lit up. Yes. Okay. 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 Mm. One night I woke up to pee and I heard both my mom and stepdad snoring. I went to pee and walked back in the room to see one of these shadow people standing near my brother's bed. It did something to him that I'd never had done to me. It started bending over him <gasps> as if it wanted to touch him. I was paralyzed with fear. I could see the floor beneath it so I knew it was floating and nearly as tall as my ceiling. I knew it wasn't my mom or stepdad and it wasn't someone standing outside the window. I threw a pillow at it and hid under the covers. After a minute, I peeked back out. I'd heard no noise, no scuffling or anything, yet it was gone. Another time, in that same house, my mom took my brothers with her to take to take my friend home. I was alone in the house watching the Simpsons downstairs in the living room when I heard loud running ab loud running above me in the upstairs attic area we never used. Oh. It sounded like a very large man running back and forth with <gasps> boots on above me. Loud running is so <laughs> fucking scary. The goosebumps on my arms hurt. They're so ghost firm. moving slowly is like scary, but like ghost running is <laughs> fucking <laughs> terrifying. There is nothing Especially scarier. back and forth. On the ceiling. <laughs> like how pissed do you have to be in the afterlife to be what doing laps? Doing? Like voluntarily working out. You don't even have a body. What are you doing that for? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. And also the bending over part. So scary. In my mind, while they're just like fucking floating about, like You're they like, have it's no fine. Yeah, whatever. These you are just like over, the ghosts from fucking Pac Man. That yes, yeah. It feels like there's intent when yeah. there's bending and running. Yeah, loud running. You chose to make a noise because how long have you been there silent? Mm -hmm, and you don't have feet. They don't touch the ground. So how are you making that sound? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just bumping into the walls. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I opened the door that led upstairs to the attic, grabbed the baseball bat at the base of the stairs, Why? turned on. I well, don't know. be a freaking hero. No, be a hero. <laughs> turned the light on and went to check it out. I saw no animals, no fallen boxes. Nothing was out of place. What were you going to do if there was an animal or right? a person? <laughs> right? Were you really going to Sammy Sosa them? Oh, I wait, don't think so. I have a scary story. We're just ending this one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hijacking your story for just a second. I'm going to slip mine in your middle. I'm going to slip in your middle real quick, and I'm just going to take over for just a second. <laughs> just a second. I'll be, uh, give me the mic right back <laughs> second, in one second. I'm going to get out of you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so one time when I lived in my old apartment, so it was right after I left my crappy abusive situation, I lived in a in an upstairs like apartment in a house area. Oh. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> I was alone because Corey worked midnights, so I was already scared because of the whole leaving the abuser thing, being alone. Corey wasn't there. Noah was at his dad's. I was all alone, and we'd just gotten Winston, so he was a little puppy, so he was in my bed, and I was just cuddling him. And you couldn't drive at this point, right? I could not drive because of the DUI. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So I'm in my room, and I hear- Well, it just felt like maybe that was important to add because you're trapped. Yeah, I literally was trapped in that place, and I'm also in a different city than the rest of my family and friends. So- I'm in my room. I'm trying to fall asleep and I hear like that. And I was like, fuck, what the fuck? And then I go to, I'm like, okay, it's gone. And then it gets closer to me and I hear, okay. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I shine my flashlight and there's a fucking bat in my room. (laughs) It's Batman. (laughs) But literally this bat was just lay Robin. (laughs) This bat was flying so close to my head and just like panicking because it must have gotten in. We had like an air conditioning unit in the yeah. window. Anyways, I ran with the blanket over my head because I was afraid it was going to get my hair. I, I could hear up. your screams in my head. Oh my God, I screamed so loud. I called Corey. He was at work. He's like, what are you calling me for? I'm like, there's a fucking bat in the house. What do I do? But then I thought I was crazy because the next day I'm like, I slept outside. I locked it in the room. And I slept slept outside (laughs) of the room. I'm sorry. I slept on my couch. I was like, in the grass where there's (laughs) more bats, probably? (laughs) I slept with all the bats because they would keep me protected. Mm -hmm. No, I slept and uh, Corey got home at like 7 a.m. And I was like, you got to go in and get it. And we looked literally everywhere and it was gone. And I was like, did I... Was that it? Like, did I hallucinate a bat? It was so scary. That's terrifying. It was so scary. There was definitely a bat. Peach PRC hallucinates bugs. Really? Mm -hmm. I honestly, I was kind of losing my shit at that point. That was like in my you. But I remember the entrance to your apartment had a thousand spiders, and those were the only spiders that you like didn't have a reaction to. You're like, I like them. They're orb weavers. (gasps) I've looked up so much about them. They make beautiful webs. They (laughs) did. Oh, you just, I forgot that they lived, they were big ass, dude, yeah. they were so big. But you're th- like, I, don't mind these ones, they're my friends. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't think you're well. <laughs> Only one person has ever died from them and it was an older man because it like dropped on him and he had a heart attack. Oh. Isn't that sad? Yeah. But they've never <laughs> caused a death of a human like on purpose that I've read. Sorry. I like that that is knowledge that you have. <laughs> I had to look up, do these kill people? <laughs> Do these kill people? I think maybe I kill people. I think I kill people. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're back to scary fucking shit running around. So, it's dead silent. I go back downstairs and turn the TV up again, scared as hell. As soon as I sat back down on the couch, the heavy footsteps running started up again. It ended as soon as my mom came back home. It was so fucking creepy. Do you think it's pissed because you threw the pillow at it? Pro- no, that was a different time. Oh, maybe it's the same. Yeah, it's holding a grudge. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I ended up moving to San Diego to live with my dad when I was 12. The activity stopped since not living with my mom. When my mom moved again, she moved to a double wide trailer that had three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Only one of the bathrooms worked after a while. So you had to go through her room to use the restroom. And she usually left her door open for that reason. I was visiting for the summer one year and my youngest, oldest, younger brother. I have four younger brothers told her. Toad (laughs) toll. Holy moly. I know. So much fucking pee everywhere in the bathroom. You just know it. I live with two men and it's a lot of pee. So far, no one other than Shane uses the potty. Well, well, I mean, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no one. <laughs> well, wait till they start peeing all over your freaking toilet seat. 
So I just tell Noah, Noah's like, I kind of like sitting down to pee. And I was like, do it all the time. I support this. Ollie keeps doing it in the yard. He rips his diaper <laughs> off and he goes, I think I pee in the grass. He, oh my God, I didn't tell you, he shit in the grass the other day. <laughs> he took his diaper off. <laughs> Why? And then he's like, I'm going to pee in the grass. And I said, okay, whatever. Because I'm like, if he's getting comfortable peeing not in his diaper, if he's recognizing right. that he has to pee, cool, sure. let's support this. Eventually we'll move to the toilet. Yeah. And he starts pushing and I'm like, hey, bud, you don't have to push so hard. If you don't have to pee, like, don't force it. And he goes, it's a fart. And he farts and a little turd shoots out of his <laughs> ass. And I'm like, oh, Ollie, you can't poop in the grass. And he goes, why the dogs do? Oh, well, that's a really good point. That's <laughs> so a really fair. solid argument. Fair. <laughs> I'm so sorry we're tangenting this hard on your story. We are. I, I apologize. I'm going to get through with it soon. I swear to God. So the young, oldest younger brother gave me his room to sleep in so that I could have some privacy. In his room, he had his bed, a dresser with the TV on it that was at the end of the bed and a side table next to the bed. Then there was a closet to the left of me. I woke one afternoon from a nap to what felt like someone yanking the bed frame. It freaked me out and I asked my mom if anything like that ever happened to her and she said no and that I must have been dreaming. I remember looking at the TV to see if it was it too was moving but it wasn't and neither was the water inside my water bottle that was on the bedside table next to me. It was just the bed. I was definitely spooked. I ended up inviting my cousin to come spend the night with me for a girls night. I woke up super early one morning and everybody was still asleep. My brothers had decided to have a sleepover in the living room and my parents were asleep in their bedroom with the door open my cousin and i had conked out on my brother's bed so everybody was accounted for i walked out onto the porch and about 10 minutes later i heard a blood curdling scream and my cousin comes running outside she was hysterical she told me something was shaking the bed really hard and it woke her up <gasps> And she asked me if I knew anything about it. I told her, yes, I experienced it the day before. Neither of us went back to sleep. We told my mom and she didn't believe us. This activity only ever happened at any place that my mom lived. I live in California now and have for many years. And I've never had any experiences like this in any place that I have lived other than at my mom's houses. After she passed away in 2019, I learned some really weird stuff about her and also about the last place that she lived at. They don't go into detail about what it was what what a freaking cliffhanger but they do kind of it didn't totally account for the experiences in the apartment or the farmhouse but learning that her double wide was on a native american burial ground could at least explain some of the experiences that were happening at her place then yeah i know yikes i'll that is so much detail to remember like yeah i that's how i feel like i know it's real because you don't remember shit from your childhood and unless it's something that is so scary or so like something that leaves a lasting impact like yes yeah yeah like a trauma moment Uh uh-huh okay next one hi ladies um my name is emma she her When I was in my first college dorm, you could rent board games from the front desk, and because there wasn't much to do one night, some friends and I decided to go down and find something to rent. The desk had a Ouija board, and me, being the way that I am, decided that it would be something fun to do, and we brought the board to my room. While using the board, nothing really happened. It didn't move, nothing responded to any questions, and everybody kind of concluded that it wasn't really working. The only thing that struck me as odd was that I got this deep feeling of dread from the moment the first, is there anyone there, question was asked. But since the board made no moves towards response, I didn't think much past it. We returned the board and kind of laughed at how it didn't work. I, it's so strange to me that they had a board for people to rent. Well, it's like made by Hasbro Games. It's I like know. a children's toy. It's marketed as. Yeah. Fast forward to a couple of nights later, I'm laying in my bed. My head was towards the wall opposite the door so I could see the door while laying in bed. I was scrolling on my phone with the lights off. My roommate was asleep in her bed across the room from me, from me. Suddenly, I get that weird, dreadful feeling that I had felt while using the Ouija board and then out of nowhere, the door to our room opened. It opened really slowly, only a couple of inches and then slammed itself shut really fast. My roommate didn't wake up and I just kept... I gave myself goosebumps. I was going to say, I'll tell you, dorm room doors are heavy as shit. They don't just like... You don't forget to open them Uh or forget to close them. Mm -hmm. My roommate didn't wake up and I just kept staring at the door and started recording the door on my phone. (gasps) A minute or two later, it opened slowly again, but this time it didn't close. I tried to explain it away. Maybe it was just the wind, but the windows weren't open. I thought maybe someone out in the hall was fucking with me, but when I went to close the door, it was still locked, so no one could have opened it. 
I didn't sleep much that night. I just kept watching the video of the door. So they have a video of this door opening. <gasps> Did Fast- they send it to us? Fast forward another couple of days, and I was coming back to my room from class. I get to the door and go to unlock it. The key turns on the lock, but when I try to turn the doorknob, it doesn't move. I tried a couple more times and got the same result. The doorknob wouldn't move. It felt almost like someone was holding it in place on the other side. That's their room now. I know. I texted my roommate and asked if she was in the room, but she was visiting a friend across campus. I went down to the front desk and got someone to come check out my door. But the second they arrived and tried to open the door, the door not twisted open as if there was nothing wrong with it at all. Weird, right? But it gets weirder. I went into the room to do my homework. And when I finished it, when I finished it, I was sitting on the couch watching TV. It was still light outside. My roommate was still across campus and I had kept the door locked. Out of nowhere, the door opened by itself again, slowly and only a few inches like the nights before. I started recording the door again right away and it slammed shut, then opened again a minute later and remained open just like it had before. It was still locked and my roommate was nowhere around. I texted her and asked if she had seen anything like it. She hadn't. The door didn't act up again for the rest of the year, but I did experience light flickers multiple times and the TV would turn on and off by itself. These things only happened when I was the only one in the room. The next year, I was in a new room, one room over. I didn't have any issues with the door, but I experienced more light flickers and electronics turning off and on by themselves. The most notable of which was our Alexa, which would often start talking on its own. Whenever it did, I would say, what did you say? What did you say? (laughs) What did you say? (laughs) What did you say? And then it would start making weird alien slash robot like noises. No. No. That was so crazy. I unplugged it and left it unplugged, but it would continue make to make the noises daily, even when it was unplugged. Me and Corey, this is some shit that I experienced. Me and Corey had something like this up at that same apartment. Yeah. Um, his mom bought us a, something like Google Home. It wasn't, yeah, whatever. But um, it was not plugged in. It wasn't charged. Nothing was whatever. And we said something, and it goes, "What did you say?" <gasps> Just like that, out of nowhere. No. It was the scariest fucking thing that we threw it away. We were like, absolutely <laughs> not. It was so scary because it was sitting behind us on the table because we had just like got it out and was trying to figure it out yeah. and then was like, nah, we'll do it later. And it was so scary. I recorded it multiple times. And again, these things would only happen when I was alone in the room. I love that. They have she has multiple like recorded evidence of all these things. Whatever was in my dorm room the first year had followed me to the next had followed me to the next room over. And after I left the dorms for good and got an apartment, nothing like that happened to me again. I still have no clue what it was, but I haven't touched a Ouija board since. And the videos still freak me out. Thank you, ladies, for all your work to make make such an amazing podcast and for being such great friends to me and everyone who listens i truly feel like you guys are some of my best friends love you guys lots Aww, love, you, love too. you too i'm Show sorry you're haunted <laughs> i was gonna say well, there's another person that sent something in that said they have pictures that they <gasps> want to show us and so i was wondering if it was that but if you have that send us the videos i want to yeah. see I'm so, that's so scary but. oh my gosh mm-hmm. all right let's keep going because we talk a lot Mm -hmm. This is the creepy kid story. It starts off, I am the creepy kid. Oh, yeah, because if you guys didn't listen to part two of Sleepover Vibes with Two Girls, One Ghost, we were talking about or sharing creepy kid stories, but then we just ended up sharing a lot of our personal ghost stories. Yeah, so we felt bad. And so we only shared like four stories, only two of ours, right? And So we're like, we're going to add some of these to this so that... Yeah, because we had lots of submissions, so... Yeah. Okay. She, her pronouns. My grandpa died before I was born. Dead grandparent gang. <laughs> Anyways, my dad told me about a time when he... D-G-G. Where- <laughs> Dead grandparent gang. My dad told me about a time where he heard me talking in my room at, at about 3 a.m. I was about four. So he came to check on me. I was sat upright having a full-blown conversation with the end of my bed. He asked who I was talking to and I answered granddad Frank. The dead one. They said in parentheses, thank you for that. He told me I was safe and he's forever watching me. And then I lay back down and went to sleep. My dad couldn't sleep for days because I had never seen him, met him, or even seen a photo of him. But she knew that that's who she was talking to. Yeah. 
There was also a time where in the middle of the night, I was laughing hysterically and told my mom, Mr. No Face was making me laugh. <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> And then I lay back down like nothing happened. There are so many other incidents like this, but here's two. Love you, lady. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the pips are back. <laughs> so many I hate pips. it. So, ooh, ooh. These are the worst stories ever that we've ever asked for. I know, and I love it. <laughs> Think oh. how I had to feel. I had to read these. No, that's <laughs> so, so scary. scary. Um, I'll tell you, Shane... I've I've shared before that Shane talks in his sleep. Mm-hmm. He hasn't done it in a really long time. It's good. But he was laying... <laughs> this is so funny to think about. <laughs> he was laying down and I woke up because I thought I heard him say something. And so I kind of like came to a little bit and I heard him say, are you kidding me? And so I thought like maybe he was awake and then like was listening to the Penguins game or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck he does after I go to bed. And so... I kind of turn and look to him. He's knocked out. He stretches. And then he puts his fist slowly to my nose. <gasps> what? <laughs> just holds it there. <laughs> like he didn't punch. He just set it there. Ting. And so bump. I'm just like staring cross-eyed <laughs> at his fist. And then he just rolled over. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so the next day I'm like, do you remember doing this? And he was like... No. <laughs> what? Could you imagine if you didn't do that slow? No. <laughs> he just knocked me yeah, out. Yeah, conked me in the face. No, he was just like, are you kidding me? Tink. <laughs> I, I That's went. literally how I punch in my dreams, too. I'm like, oh, my God. Have you ever tried to run in your dreams? And, have it's we like talked I'm about running that through before? freaking pudding. I cannot <laughs> run. It is so frustrating. It's so annoying. Because I'm like, what? What? I never used my legs before. See, running is not. I I, I get can in, fly, but I can't run. I get in fist fights in my dream, and I always punch like like you I'm do? punching through Jello. I'm like, Ugh, it's never good. Yeah, yeah, I feel that too. I had a dream. I'm the always other trying night. to like fight for my life, but I'm like a wimp. I can't do it. Someone and su- I know how to throw a punch. I can fucking get down. <laughs> Someone suggested that we share people's dreams the way we share scandals. Just like read them as is. <laughs> yes. Um. And I had one happen the other night. Those are kind of like bot stories, which is why I like that. If I share this, it's going to sound really strange because the dream was like very much like could have happened in real life. Yeah. But I forgot all of it. So it doesn't matter. But fucking sucks when that happens. I know. If you guys want to hear an episode like that, let us know. We'll do it. Yes, please. We'll make a forum and read your stories. (laughs) (laughs) We like to do that. We do. Okay. Next one. Hey, ladies. So this actually happened to my mom and aunt, but I need to share since I get goose pimps every time I tell the story. So go back to 2000 and my mom and dad got in a huge car accident. The driver of the other car had a medical condition and crashed straight into the side of their car. That's so scary. As the paramedic showed up and began trying to get them out of the car, my mom looked over and saw a man standing down the road. It's important to note this ro- this road was in the middle of nowhere and had no houses on it. She describes him as wearing a trench coat and simply standing there watching. She gave more details, but I don't want to make this too long. I instantly think, um, what the fuck? A trench coat? Sketch. <laughs> She looks back and he's gone. No one trusts where he wears a trench nah, coat. Absolutely not. What are you there? What are you doing? You're just standing there yeah. in a fucking trench Why do you need coat? so much coverage? <laughs> um, are you naked under there? So There's no other reason to have a trench <laughs> no, coat unless you're I'm naked. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It she- is just a waterproof robe. <laughs> She looks back and he's gone. Now fast forward 15 plus years and my aunt had a huge fire in her kitchen. After she puts it out, she looks towards the road again in the middle of nowhere and sees the same man that my mom described. Needless to say, I will not be lo- I will not be looking around if something scary happens to me. <laughs> Love you guys. Do you think he's like the angel of death? That's what I thought, but like is he a guardian then? I don't because know. They live? Yeah, I don't know. And he's like you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it flashes you. <laughs> Here's my ghost stick. <laughs> ghost stick? <laughs> it's just Danny Phantom. <laughs> Dickie Phantom. <laughs> Dickie Phantom. Oh, Dickie Scrotum. <laughs> Scrotum Phantom. <laughs> oh, this is not getting better. What's happening? Okay. So this one, I think I'm going to say your name is... Kiana, K-E-A-N-N-A. Okay. Kiana. From Canada. She, her. 
When I was around three, I started talking to and hanging out with a, quote, imaginary friend. I think this is a creepy kid's one, maybe. Um, I told my parents he was real and I could see him. And when they asked me to describe him, I said he was all black with black melting hands, no face, and he lives under the house. No. Uh-huh. Through more questions, <laughs> <laughs> through more questions asked, they found out that the friend under the house was named Claw, and he looked exactly like the Grim Reaper. There is nothing around the house or any TV shows or movies I saw with that in them because, well, I was three. It was all harmless play until I was around five years old. My parents had a babysitter over. The babysitter called my parents in a panic because Claw asked me to grab a butcher knife from the (gasps) kitchen and bring it downstairs. And she caught me grabbing the knife. (sighs) Okay, are we all okay? Are we okay? How are we all doing? (laughs) Okay. I don't remember this, but everyone involved remembers it vividly. We moved out two years ago. I'm sorry. We moved out two years later to the house across the street. Also haunted? Of course. We got a German shepherd and he would bark towards well, our closet. Well, not far for the ghost to follow <laughs> right? you. Mr. Claw or you whatever. You didn't even really try to lose him. <laughs> He's just across the street. That seems more like your fault. Yeah. I'm victim shame. Blaming. <laughs> um... We got a German shepherd and he would bark towards our closets and seem genuinely terrified, particularly of my sister's room. My sister was now three and she saw an elderly man in her room all the time and would point to him around the closet. My uncle lived in the basement and one night he ran up the stairs screaming fire. The whole house woke up and there was no fire, but he was shaking, saying there was for sure smoke or something cloudy in the stairs. He moved out after that. (laughs) Fuck this. It took one fucking fake snow smoke cloud for the uncle to be like i don't want to be here anymore um the toilets would flush randomly and at least they're they're considerate (laughs) my 10 year old doesn't even do that (laughs) the toilets would flush randomly and there would be an occasional banging on the lawn laundry machines wasn't me (laughs) <laughs> it wasn't like, saw you banging on the laundry. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> My parents looked so you asking for the butcher knife. <laughs> was it wasn't me. Me. <laughs> I even laid under the house. It wasn't, it wasn't, me. wasn't me. I even started a fire. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> My parents looked back at the first picture they ever got out they ever got of the house when they just bought it and you can clearly see the outline of two people just <gasps> cloudy right there in the window. The man is wearing a stethoscope. Our neighbor later told us that the couple who lived there and died there before matched the description. The man was even a doctor. Claw never made the pick, but he did visit me once more when I was seven. I still remember him vividly and I was honestly scared to sleep with the lights out for years. For years and years after, I love you guys. I can send you the picture if you want to see it. What picture? Of the ghosties in the house window. I don't. I do. (laughs) I'm afraid they're going to come here then. Send it to me. I don't want it to be an invitation. That's not how ghosts work. They have to show up. That is exactly how ghosts work. No, not seeing them on the internet. For me. Oh, not me. They have to come inside your house. They're like vampires. (laughs) You have to invite them in. (laughs) I did toss my welcome mat. Because someone was like, hey, if you don't want ghosts or any kind oh, of you can't mythical welcome being, them in. Yeah, then make sure your welcome mat doesn't say, come on in. <laughs> Is that what you said? No, well, it said welcome ish. Depends on who you are and how long you want to stay. <laughs> well, that's, I think that's clear boundaries. <laughs> I, that doesn't seem clear because what if they're like, not long? <laughs> And well I'm, then, that's I'm me. <laughs> like, fair so, enough. I wasn't come, specific. Come on. <laughs> this could have been more specific. Yeah. So we're gonna do one more story, yeah. and then a bot story to sandwich this episode out. And then, if you want more ghost stories, maybe like this one. I'm right in the middle of some spooky murder scene when I hear what sounds like a D word, Chihuahua, and Yorkie fighting to the death somewhere behind our detached garage. Animal fighting sounds are so fucking scary when it like cuts through just a silence that you're listening to. Do you to. hear that often? There are cats outside of my house oh. that fight and it is so fucking scary when they fight. Yeah. Especially because when they start fighting, my dogs hear it and they go and fucking freak out. And I'm like, ah! Yeah. Okay. I paused my show and got up to check it out by inching apart the blinds and the noise stopped immediately. 
I'm like, okay, it's probably just some raccoons fighting because have you ever heard raccoons go at it? it gives me chills every time. I have to Google that when we get done because I want to hear raccoons. <laughs> raccoons. <laughs> Maybe don't type raccoons going at it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. And I return to my spot. Well, cats fucking also sound a lot like cats fighting. So that's also terrifying as well. Same with ducks. They have barbed penises. I'm sorry. They have barbed penises, so it hurts. Cats do? So it hurts when they fuck. Someone with a, so, someone who's a cat's probably going to tell me I'm wrong. But I think, I'm pretty barbed? sure they have a barbs on their wieners. Yes. How, I'm, I'm thinking like fucking, like those clubs with the, the nails sticking out of them. All right, I'm going to Google cat dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> Panda porn cat dick, what else can we Google? <laughs> oh my God, I hate that. Um, cat- yeah, but ducks are really aggressive. Yeah. They like as a gang um attack a female. Cat barbed Willie was the first that fucking popped up. But here you go. Um do bail cats have a barbed Willie? Oh my god. Is there a photo? Yes. I don't want to look, but I I I want to look. <gasps> Stop it. I, it looks like a baby porcupine. <laughs> I know. Why? I great question. I love that this is cat barbed dick. <laughs> <laughs> I did type in who fucking took this picture and why is the background like dark? It looks like <laughs> it looks I think it's like microscopic like because they're art. they're retractable. So you have to go in. They have to be pulled out. I'm sorry. Or something. Are you I saying think. cat dicks are microscopic? <laughs> no, but they're just inside, I think. You just offended all our cat listeners. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My cat cats. dick is so huge. <laughs> My cat dick is <laughs> monstrous. <laughs> oh and my god. Not, there's nothing wrong. All everything's great. No, all your shit looks <laughs> fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> Did I put a ghost story there? <laughs> uh, if you did, that was a preview yeah, for, for Patreon. Patreon. It's going to come out on Friday. Patreon.com slash ladies and tangents. You already plugged it once and I plugged it again because there's one thing I love and it's plugging you. We love to double plug you up. <laughs> <laughs> so on to the next one. Here we go. This was for a creepy kid submission. Hey, ladies, this is more funny than scary. But as a kid, I was terrified. Hope you get a giggle out of it. My name is Jessica, she, her, and when I was like four, my grandparents had to put their dog down and it was explained to me as being put to sleep. Yeah. That's normal and fine, right? Well, I had a lip tie that my parents didn't remove as a baby. The dentist said it needed to be removed. My parents set it all up and said that I would need to be put to sleep (laughs) for this little surgery. I sat on this for a long time. And when the surgery time was coming, I got really anxious. (laughs) My parents finally asked me what my issue was. And I told them, I don't want to (laughs) die. It started sobbing. My parents laughed and had to explain what was going on. So that's my anxiety's origin story (laughs) love you ladies thank you for all you do you're the best (laughs) i will tell you that there are several times that the kids are like gonna go to bed and Mm -hmm. i find myself saying i gotta put the kids to sleep (laughs) or when i put the kids down and i'm like why are all of these phrases we use for like murdering animals not murdering euthanizing yeah is that extinguishing (laughs) their life what's the nice way to say it um ending their suffering There's not a shorter term. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Putting them down. Um, assisted. Mercy kill. That doesn't seem no. right either. Assisted death. Deathing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing? No, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Animals are better than people most of the oh, time. Oh, no, for sure. We love animals. Yeah. Um, I'm just that we kill them. I mean, yeah, we, well, we don't kill. Well, I mean, we do. I we killed. Don't. No, I'm just kidding. What if I was like, I'm a serial killer? Oh my God, I saw a bunny run straight up to my house today. Oh I was my like, God. Uh, Grandma. No, if anything, Grandma. <laughs> if anything, I'm an animal saver. I you saved I so many animals. I just a bubble in my crotch. I'm so sorry. It was so <laughs> You looked at me so hard in the eyes while that happened. Because, well, I was shocked. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know where Did you hear my it? eyes. <laughs> Because it kind of tickled. Okay. <laughs> I love it when they tickle. I'm like, woo! I know it kind of itches now, but like, what can I do about that? You can itch it. Not right now. You can. We can believe this. <laughs> I'm just gonna go pee and give myself a little bit of extra Scratch. attention. <laughs> oh, that's 
that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, this is a I I you know forced a annoying? botch to watch over a, th- a thousand hours of Ghost Hunters and then ask it to write an episode of Ghost Hunters. I feel that's, that's good. That is good, but I am really frustrated that it bubbled on one side and not the other because now it feels lopsided. And I really <laughs> wish it would even it out, but it's not gonna. Sit on your foot. <laughs> that's what I always do. Go sit on your foot. <laughs> you always have a little foot scratch. <laughs> no, right now I'll do it later. Okay. Okay. Interior lighthouse. A lighthouse keeper yells with the, the yells with the ghost hunters. They are ghost paparazzi taking photos of the dead for a living. Lighthouse keeper, I keep the lighthouse, but lately feel like I keep the ghost house. <laughs> ghost hunter one, I will not jump to conclusions, but you reside in hell's dump bathroom. <laughs> lighthouse keeper, religiously unfair. I'm a Catholic. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. It says. Religiously unfair. I'm a cataholic. (laughs) A light flickers in the house that is a light. Ghost Hunter 2. Oh, oh. Bad lighting means a ghost is near and investing in shares of scares. Economics is witchcraft. (laughs) Ghost Hunter 1. Spirit, we are not your enemy. We are in love with you. (laughs) Lighthouse Keeper. I do not love the ghost. Make that clearly known. I love making boats not crash too much. (laughs) A window salami shut. (laughs) Only a ghost would be rude enough to open windows. (laughs) Ghost Hunter 2. You must lie and love the ghost or else it will curse you some cancer. (laughs) Oh. Yeah. Lighthouse Keeper. No, I hate ghosts. I hate spooky spookers. I hate (laughs) poltergeists. The lighted house shakes. Pots and pans fall all over. Lighthouse keeper. No way. Those belong to my food. <laughs> ghost, ho- ghost hunter one. We must fight back or we'll die and become ghosts. The things we love. The ghost hunters dunk their fists in holy water. <laughs> they punch where they think ghosts are. An old telephone howls a ring. Lighthouse keeper. Screams. That phone can't work. It was murdered days ago. Ghoul phone. <laughs> Ghost hunters look worried. They never punched a phone. <laughs> oh. And scene. Wow, I love that. That was a good one. That was that a good was one. A good one. Spooky spookers. Yeah. All right, you spooky spookers. Um, we hope you like that episode, and yeah. you know, we hope you love us, even though we're, <laughs> <laughs> you know, wildly. What? What's that? Loud. Rebellious. Yeah. In our. Want for people to have equal rights? Yeah, we fucking assholes we are. Crazy. <laughs> Settle down. Literal bitches. <laughs> yeah. So anyways. That's what liberal stands for. Liter- <laughs> literal <laughs> liberal bitches. <laughs> literal bitches. Um, All right. Um, I wanted to say little britches. So <laughs> <laughs> my brain was just like little britches. <laughs> little britches. Little britches. Come right. to a store near you. Well, Jerry's going to go scratch her crotch. <laughs> I got to go scratch my crotch, guys. Um, that's that. Uh, some more of your ghost stories and creepy kid stories. Your yeah. spooky stories. Okay. Uh, we love you so much. We'll see you next week. Oh, all right. We're out. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>